I don't know where all of the main missions have gone there. All I've got is Stranger and Freaks for now. Actually, this might be one. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. I need to go with Michael. Why? Why do we need to change the Michael? I can't remember this. Oh, he's just waiting for him. All right. Good old Mikey. Uh, gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly. Look at me. <laughs> Boom. Best shit of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I can still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. I love Trevor. Said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> 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 I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep dust of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? Ooh, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. Oh, you get to work, and uh, I'm like not here. The only time Trevor can talk to someone without actually getting done. Guys, your neighbor, Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Have fun, Trevor. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be... I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. Oh. I only brought him in. Stop! Well, you don't see me driving! I only brought him in after you put out your press release. The Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, 
or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Stan. You do that. Going. Wrong house. This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? They just sat outside the house. <laughs> Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. Uh, right. Uh, I think we'll use the revenge Come first. Do your Start off easier. No, you can't. No, 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 no. No, no. Alright. Boo. Ow. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here, Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home, home theater. He lives in Chuma, right into the Western Highway. Uh, well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Damn, someone starts drilling. Perfect time. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> What a dick. Damn, the wind is so loud in real life, man. I don't even know if you guys can actually hear it through the mic. You probably will be able to. It's so loud. Feels like there's a storm outside. I mean, it sounds like... I can't really feel it. I'm inside. I don't even know what that noise is, either. So how are Steve sounds and Trevor weird. Getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. No, like I said, he's got his uses. And sounds like a drill. See, we're trying to take full advantage of Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about... And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. Hey! No casualties. There are more eyes on that town than they need. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... Well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I have never heard wind this loud before. This'll do. All right. It's crazy, man. Kind of scared. <laughs> yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah. Uh, Description of the target. Loosen him up. Oh no no please! I tell what? you what you Loosen want him up. No, please. Right. What are we gonna use this time? Uh. Here's some pliers, I think. 
Now, if you open real wide, I might be able to just reach right back there and grab one of those big ones. Are you still alive? Ah, oh, I need to hold it. Go up. Yank. Go on. Yank it out. Oh no, we're doing it the wrong way. Shit. Oh, damn. Oh, this this has got to be painful. What? What are you trying to say? Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I'm ready to talk. I got to give now. The sick of That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? I think I'll need more. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Hey, you could what be one. Do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, too late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. All right. I think I you've won some jumper cables. I'm gonna level with you. This will hurt. Take another tooth, please. No, no. All right, hold. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Oh yeah. He actually likes looks like he's enjoying this. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it just sticks in and leaves it there. I'm still here. <laughs> Alright, come on. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 he's got beer, he's got beer, he's got food to beer. Uh-huh, I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not, no. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the skull. All right, beard. He's got a bushy beard. Steve saying beard. Push a beard. Got? Anything specific? Push a beard. Or some stubble gonna cut it. Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Now, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he's, he's got beard. His books. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to yeah. be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. We need to be sure, though, don't we? I will use this. They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. What if you get it wrong? I was wrong. I got blood in my mouth. No. I know I'm a torturer. My mouth. I, I, would I kind of feel sorry for him though. But I bet Trevor's having the time of his life. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. He's 
wet, all right. Let up. He's had enough. Yeah, he comes. The blackness is terrible. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. All right, left handed. handed. What's that? He chain smokes, and he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. All right, smoking. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling hey, he's me right -handed. you assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette. Hey, he's left-handed. He's left-handed. What the hell? That was the guy. Yeah, it was as well. Feeling. I think. It'll check out. Well, we've got him. It's done. Sweet. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work, the pair of you. Now I got a racquetball game to get to. So Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up. That's a sport. Sorry, I'm breaking you out, but let's go. Come on. Wait a sec, Mitsu. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Trevor is a nice guy, really. He's got a heart of an angel. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. Alright. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety, first. <laughs> safety first after he's just been tortured. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you going to hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family! No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do! They're in the morning wood. I love them very much! No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures for the torturer! Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times! We should all admit that! It's useless as a means of getting information! Me. Go on, man. Run! You're free! Oh, oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, alright? And look, trust no one, alright? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really, now let's go. <laughs> Fuck off! Come on. Bye. No one even looks at him weird. He's got bloody fried nipples and everything and no one even turned an eyelid. By the book. Alright, where can we go now? Um, do, do, do. I think I'll actually go here. I need. 
I need you all at the uh, lots in Alberta Heights for first to first, don't be late. Uh, change the plan. Let's go to the FIB. I wonder what he wants to say us about. Oh. That was insane, man. So insane. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy a hunt this part that looks so nice. Oh yes, everything's happening now. Oops. But let's go to the FIB first. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 